All right, I'm going to troubleshoot these trailer lights on this typical boat trailer. You see I got a typical three-pin connector, typical uh, trailer lighting system. Pretty simple to do, pretty easy to do. Take my voltmeter, put it in the ohms position, or my multimeter, put it in the ohms position. Make sure my red wire is in the volt ohms jack and the black wire is on a common. Here's my connector. See this one here is a three pin connector. It has a terminal ring for the ground as you can see the way the wire is split off. I'm going to put one meter lead on those terminal rings and then I'm going to check each pin going through here. And you also notice on this connector these wires are labeled. One says right turn, the white one says left turn, and the black wire says nothing, so I imagine that's my running lights. Typically it's brown, this particular thing is black. Okay, the first pin I'm reading 3.2, second one I'm reading 3.2, third pin I'm reading 3.2. So I'm reading with these connectors from the ground through the light bulb filament, through the wire, back to the pin, and I'm reading 3 ohms of resistance. So we got a good clean system. Now I'm going to check my ground, make sure it's on the chassis good. And I'm just going to check and it's like one ohm. So I know I got a great connection. So we know everything is great there, especially for a 10 year old trailer. Okay, now I'm going to just draw you what you have to notice here. The RT stands for right turn signal. The BL stands for brake light. Okay, there's your connector. There's your ground. And that center loop there is your light bulb. Okay, but you got to remember, trailer lights are usually a, a series parallel circuit. So when you're reading ohms, you got to isolate it because the ohm reading is going to take the path of least resistance. Whatever light bulb has the least resistance, that is what you're reading. So in order to get a true reading, you got to isolate, remove the other two light bulbs, and you're going to read that one wire. Remove that light bulb, put another one in, and check out the other circuit. And the same thing for the other one. You have to isolate when you're doing continuity checks. But it's going to give you a good reading. You find out where your high resistors are. And then remove all light bulbs. And make sure you're not reading something shorted to ground. Make sure you're reading open circuit. And whether it's your right turn signal, your left turn light, or your running lights. This is the way you'll troubleshoot it for all the lights. Remember, you've got to isolate. It's quick, it's easy, and it's really helpful.